YTPC, what's up? It's your buddy Tillerman70H coming at you today. Just a quick VR review and a little pipe care today. I am just cleaning out my Peterson 999 here. Just reaming it out a little bit. But I am also doing um, a VR response everybody's favorite VR response to Buckeye Piper, who is doing a Christmas gaw. And he is saying that wanted a, basically a Christmas memory that was, or a story, or maybe even a debate. Um, the debate part was about whether you think Santa Claus is real or not. Um, and then the other thing was just kind of a, a story um, that you look fondly at. I believe I'm getting that right. Um, during the holidays. Well, a lot of, you know, there's been other holiday gauze and whatnot. And there's been a couple of these where people say, hey, what's your best memory? And this, that, and the other thing. And by now, most everybody has heard the story where my brother and I get up at the butt crack of dawn and then basically destroy all the presents, open everything up, and then we're sitting there in a huge pile of contentment, being, yeah, what a great day, and then have ever since then listened to that story for the rest of our lives about how we ruined Christmas for, for everybody. So everybody's heard that story already. Um, another one that I haven't shared um, and it only, I guess, would pop into my holiday category because it happened during uh, a holiday party, a Christmas party, long ago. So most everybody knows that the Tillerman is a fireman. And like many firemen back in the day, I started as <clears throat> a volunteer. And even before that, I started as a cadet or an explorer, however you want to look at it. And I just kind of stuck with it. Back in the day, that's cleaning up pretty nice. Oh man, you'll never be able to see. Can I catch light in there? Anyway, this is cleaned up pretty nice. So I'm still working on it. But um, so anyway, back in the day, basically kind of everybody in, in your local town was, uh, it's just what they did. They were, they were firemen as well. You know, your neighbor needed help, whatever. Every, and you guys were fine. You just showed up, did that sort of thing. Went to school, did your training, went to uh, weekly drills, all that sort of thing. So the department I started on had a beautiful 1928 original Aaron's Fox, which is a fire engine um, that was a no-nonsense truck. Just just a beautiful truck. You can, you can look it up if you're interested in it. Um, Maybe I can try to get fancy, and right about here, I'm going to do that so I can see that when I'm doing my uh, my editing. Maybe I'll try to insert a photo of a fire truck like that. But a 1928 Aaron's Fox, which was the department's pride and joy. We loved it. The community loved it. Uh, we would take it out on parade. It was, it was a parade vehicle, um, but it was all pretty much original, everything like that, so... During the holidays, we would have uh, like a, a holiday party. And as part of that, we would pick up Santa Claus and drive him around town. We'd put him in the open cab. The guys would hang off the sides of the fire truck and kind of relive the old days of when men were men and the kids were in all of all that stuff. And we would drive around with the with the light on and showcase Santa Claus, drive all through the town. And people would come out and they'd wave and kids would get all excited and they knew that um, Christmas was around the corner and that sort of thing. So all in all, like, so what makes that memorable? Well, back in those days, those guys were pretty tough guys. And we, I grew up on stories of them hanging off of tailboards and just being rough and tumble guys in the fire service. And anyway always trying to measure up and be savage like those guys were in the best sense of the word. They were 
just good guys, hardcore. They would not let you get out of line. They'd step on you pretty good if you thought you were bigger than your britches, but whatever. So we're out driving around one night. It's cold. Super cold. And uh, so we're out there with Santa Claus. Well, lo and behold, a one alarm comes in at the same time. And we are across, across town, you know, basically showcasing Santa, letting everybody do their thing. Well, we were riding on the tailboard, the younger the younger crew, um, so the old, the old elder, um, driver was driving the truck, obviously, uh, Santa Claus was in the passenger seat, and everything else was just standing room on the tailboard, old school, which was fantastic, so that one alarm came in, and all the young cats were like, man, we're making this fire, that's just the way it's gonna go, so, um, so, <laughs> They turned on the, the, the siren, and here we are, freezing cold. Santa Claus in the front seat, and we go hanging on the tailboards, rip, well, rip roaring up the street, siren going, and we must have had eyes like. This big, because it was fantastic. Super cold, like I said. So we respond across town, back to the station, get our stuff, jump on the, you know, the first out truck instead of the, the antique that was there and proceed to go to the fire and do our thing there and everything else. But I will remember that run as long as I can have conscious thought just because I felt like I was one of the old school cats at that point because I had been on the truck and rode the tailboard and just thought that I was the coolest thing since sliced bread. But that has always been a very uh, fond Christmas memory for me. So I hope that uh, meets the requirements there, my friend. And again, if you haven't entered the, the Buckeye Piper's um, holiday giveaway, I believe he's doing the drawing on Christmas morning. So anyway, that's that. Um, Hope that, hope that meets it. Hope you guys enjoyed that story. Thank you for indulging me while I'm doing a little pipe maintenance today. Man, I'm like Mel. I'm like the garbage man. I need to have a flashlight down here to show everybody all this stuff. But, uh, and I cleaned up pretty good. So, again, there you go. Um, the old timers thought it was pretty funny. They, uh, I don't know, they looked at us with a very much of a, an approved an approved look so they were I don't know it was fun again that's all stuff that you're not allowed to do anymore and rightly so but it was beast mode we had a great time doing it and we've talked about that uh, um, it was me uh, my brother was on the truck with us and and another couple guys that would but we uh, all look back on that with very fond memories so Till next time, this is Tillerman 70H saying, see ya!